determine the UFC's interim middleweight champion. Yeah, that moment was. So Floyd Mayweather CEO, Leonard Ellaby, gave his reaction to Anthony Joshua getting dominated and outclassed by Usyk, where he first responded to a fan that betted on the fight. This guy initially picked AJ. However, last minute, he changed his pick to Usyk, rightfully so, as he made a lot of money in the process, since Usyk was obviously the underdog. Now, Floyd Mayweather CEO, Leonard Ellaby, gave his reaction by stating, winner, winner, chicken dinner. Then as latest as today, he stated, quote, just listen to the post from Joshua fight. Very classy comments in defeat. Respect. 100. End of the quote. Now, we also know that Floyd Mayweather is very close friends with Anthony Joshua. And AJ needs to hire Floyd Mayweather in order to train him for the Usyk rematch because he badly needs it if he's going to win. See, we all know AJ is very loyal to his team. However, in this case, he really doesn't have to fire anybody. He can just add Floyd Mayweather as an additional member to his team. Luckily for AJ, Floyd Mayweather's second goal in life is to also become one of the best trainers of all time. Therefore, this collaboration can easily take place as long AJ reaches out to Floyd, which he will be very wise to do so, especially after that performance and all of the flaws he was making, since it wasn't so much of what Usyk did. Usyk did a lot of great things just by fighting his fight. It really came down to what AJ didn't do. See, what made Floyd Mayweather TBE the best ever is the fact that he was able to make the necessary adjustments, not from one fight to another fight basis or even from one round to another. However, Floyd Mayweather made the adjustments necessary during the actual round itself. Floyd had that unique ability to figure things out on the fly. On the other hand, it seems like AJ doesn't have the capability of making adjustments. Forget about during the round. I'm talking about during the entire fight. It seems to me that AJ is only able to make adjustments from a fight to fight basis, like he did with Andy Ruiz. In the first fight, he pretty much gave up on the idea of winning the fight after he got hurt. It almost seems like he made up his mind to come back another day. In other words, AJ mindset is more like, I don't care if I lose the battle as long I win the war. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, but he thinks that way during the actual battle, before the battle is decided, before the battle even ends. The urgency to win is missing. There is no will to win. And we saw AJ do it again with Usyk. See, that's more of a mental thing than a physical thing. See, when you talk about Floyd Mayweather and Deontay Wilder, they so mentally strong. Floyd Mayweather even said, every time he stepped in the ring, he was willing to die in order to win. He made up his mind, he was prepared to die in order to get the win. Talk about the will to win. See, it takes confidence and courage in order to make adjustments, to go from plan A to plan B that you're really not comfortable with but still you trust in your ability and technique in order to pull the win. That's what made Floyd Mayweather special. See, AJ have the talent. He just doesn't have the mental state. However, for AJ to win the rematch against Usyk, he needs to do multiple things. Like Bruce Lee said, he has to adapt like water. Second of all, he needs to fight his fight with the right game plan. A combination of bullying Usyk chest to chest in the inside and countering Usyk all the way from the outside, not mid-range. And last but not least, we need the old AJ. This new AJ is not going to cut it. The AJ after he got hurt by Ruiz is an Anthony Joshua that fights without any identity. Afraid of fighting how he needs to do in order to win because he might get caught. This takes me back to what Anthony Joshua had to say post Usyk fight. He said in the ninth round, I really couldn't see after his right eye started swollen. So the reporter followed up with, what would you have done differently if you did see? And to no surprise, Anthony Joshua said what I was exactly doing. I was going to do it more and more and more. Even though AJ was nearly losing every round, he felt there is no need to adjust adapt 
or switch the game plan since plan A is not working. Remember, AJ said Deontay Wilder is one dimensional, but ironically, that's how he fought Usyk, was one dimensional. Anthony Joshua never went to his high guard, Mike Tyson style, in order to switch up his game plan by bobbing and weaving his way to the inside like his friend Derek did. That way, he would have been able to use his size and punching power to his advantage. He never threw combinations to the head and the body the way the old AJ used to do. I'll take that back. He did it once to the body and was successful, which is my point exactly. He was throwing single punches, making it easier for the counterpuncher Usyk to counter him when he needed to be the combination version of AJ, the old AJ that used to fight like Mike Tyson. And whenever he needed to take a break, all he had to do was fight all the way in the outside, the way Tio did against Lomachenko by controlling Usyk with his jab and have Usyk gamble every time he decides to come in instead of going in to his punching range. But how you expect Anthony Joshua to make the right adjustments and go from plan A to plan B when leading up to the fight, he said he don't care if he lose to Usyk. Who says that? This is a sport where you have other fighters like Deontay Wilder who is willing to die in the ring, go out on his shield even when he's getting cheated by Tyson Fury. Winning is a must. That's the type of mindset you need to have in the sport. Like Mike Tyson said, boxing is 90% mental and 10% physical. Furthermore, here are a few reasons why Anthony Joshua desperately needs a Floyd Mayweather in his corner. Usyk controlled AJ with hands control alone by fainting him up and down with the lead hand. For some odd reason, AJ tried to mimic that with both of his damn hands in slow motion while being squared up and flat footed at the wrong range. I know Usyk was laughing at him where he continued to set him up for the straight left hand all night long as you all see above. I mean, did you guys ever see Usyk try to gauge the distance with his power hand instead of his lead hand or with both of the hands at the same time? I really can't comprehend where AJ got that from. Obviously, it was pure frustration. However, the worst part, he was doing that in the first round. So he got confused as soon as the fight began. Therefore, AJ needs to start understanding the use of hands, feints, footwork, positioning, control of range, the way to use the jab effectively, and how to fight a softball overall, which there is no one on this planet that has a better control of range and understands positioning better than Floyd Mayweather does. So AJ needs every little help he can get. The St. Ruiz. Usyk is also going to make adjustments during the fight. And at this moment in time, AJ is lost in the sauce when it comes to all of these things. Positionings, hand control, control of range, the right game plan, so on and so forth, which I went more in depth on my post fight video. So check that out in the comment section below. With that being stated, drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe below and click on the notification bell to be continued on the next episode of Aki Aki Ak TV. Peace and I'm on to the next one.